screen video of all the stuff that's going in my pack. Um, that's a question that I get a whole lot. What are you taking with you? What are you allowed to take? What can't you take? So for all the curious people, I'm going to show you today. I'll start with my backpack. This guy is 65 liters. And this is going to be the main bag that I take all of my stuff in um, with me on the roll bear. So I'm going to have a smaller day pack that's going to have um, different things in it. This is going to be like my home for the year. So it has lots of straps and a hip belt and pockets and great ventilation for my back. I actually just went for a hike and it was great. I didn't sweat um, on my back at least. <laughs> um, so everything's going to fit in here. And then this is my air porter. It's basically like a big duffel bag that my big pack goes in to keep it protected at the airport. Um, if you've ever flown, you know that they're not gentle with uh, your luggage. And so sometimes it gets ruined. So if you can think about traveling once a month for a year, um, how ruined your stuff will get. And um, that's the whole point of this is to basically cover up the pack and all the belts and clips and everything so that it doesn't get trashed. Um, so that has, you know, a big handle and that's what will protect my back. I have lots of these great packing cubes. Some of them have been gifts. Some of them I've just purchased myself. Um, some of them are like little stuff sacks that you can just stick random things in there. I have lots of those. Like little teeny tiny ones just to help with organization. And then there's ones like this that are good for like socks and underwear, or like awkwardly shaped clothing that you might not want to stick other places. And then these ones are compression sacks. And so you can fit a lot in them. They like sort of puff out. Let me see if I can to pop out. So they kind of pop out and then you put all your stuff in there and then you zip it closed and it condenses your stuff down to a much, much smaller size, which is pretty cool. So I've got a lot of these and that's going to help me stay super organized in my pack this, hopefully, this next year. And this one is actually waterproof and watertight. So I'm going to put like my electronics and stuff in here so that they don't get ruined if we get caught in a rainstorm or something. So I guess we'll start with this. This is my tent. And in here is also the rain fly to cover the top of my tent if it rains. And the footprint, which is the, kind of like a tarp that you lay underneath so that the bottom of the tent doesn't get ruined. So all of that is compressed into this fat little compression bag. And here are all the poles for my tent um, that I'll pitch every single month. So I'm gonna get really, really good at pitching the tent. And then this is my sleeping pad. As you can see, everything really folds up pretty small, which is cool. So this will be my bed for a year. I know that seems kind of ridiculous to most people that that's my bed, but that is, that's it. This will be like my sheet. It's like a sleeping bag liner to keep the inside of my sleeping bag really clean. Um, and then my big sleeping bag. Now this actually folds down to about this size, maybe a little fatter. So, um, but you're not supposed to keep it compressed all the time. So once I get, uh, get going to training camp and once I leave for the world race, this will be about one fourth that size. Okay, so in all my little packing cubes, I have lots of different things. This is like a microfiber towel that um, is supposed to repel odors and stay pretty clean and supposed to, to work really well and dry quickly. So we'll see. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but it's a reality. So in these little packing cubes, I have like my headlamp and this is extra batteries and a headphone splitter. I've heard that this is the quickest way to form friendships is to have a headphone splitter so you can connect lots of headphones and connect it into whether you're watching a movie or listening to music or whatever you're doing. I've heard that that um, helps a lot with that because everybody wants to watch or listen to the same thing and sometimes you can't. I have this little lantern. It's actually pretty bright. Has a USB charger on here too that you can plug like your phone or something into it and it'll help help it stay charged. Um, these also have um, solar chargers that you can connect into it to charge it by the sun if you don't have a plug but I think we'll probably have electricity so I'm not super worried about that. Um, this isn't all of my stuff. I still have clothes to pack, shoes to pack, all of my bathroom stuff like soap and toothpaste and toothbrush and deodorant and all that and that um, We'll all pack closer to the time. So this one just kind of has random stuff. Um, a strap for my air porter. This is supposed to go on the outside. 
to, so I can kind of tell that this one is mine compared to all the others. I have a little first aid kit in here, a fanny pack, and this thing is really cool. It's called a pocket shower, and it folds up this small. It's about uh, about this, the length of an iPhone and about the thickness of a deck of cards. Um, and this is essentially just like a little sack that you fill up with water. You fill this up with water, and then you hang it from a tree like that. And then you leave it in the sun. This is the idea. You leave it in the sun, and then at the end of the day, you go, you're supposed to have warm showers. And so the water comes out of this little spigot. I don't, well, I don't know if it's going to focus. Um, so you can take a warm shower outside if you don't have running water. So that's really cool and um, might come in handy soon. My parents' water heater has been on the fritz. And so my siblings and I have joked about hanging that up in our trees to have hot water. <laughs> okay. Um, and this one, I have a sleeping mask. Um, we're going to be sleeping in all sorts of conditions, so that will help block out light. I have a bunch of locking carabiners. Um, this helps deter theft um, when you're walking around with your backpack because they lock. It's just one extra step that people can't, you know, come by and steal your stuff or open up your zippers. But it'll also help me connect stuff to the outside of my pack if I need to, like a water bottle or whatever it is. Um, I have these, these are called Scary Pods. Um, they're for your toothbrush. And you stick it on your toothbrush and it um, sterilizes it. So it'll ho hopefully help um, keep me from sickness that I might get from my toothbrush. Then I have a sleeping pad repair kit in here. I think these pads, these little, um, probably can't see that. These little patches I think will also work for my tent um, if my tent gets a hole. And then these I think are going to be my best friend. These are motion sickness bands and so you put them on your wrist you wear it like a watch um, when you're traveling and the idea is that it's um, I guess it's working on pressure points to try to help keep you from being nauseous and so you can kind of dial these up and you stick them in a certain place on your wrist and it's supposed to help you um, not get as motion sick so I get pretty sick in cars when I travel and so that's something that I've been a little bit worried about um, going on the world race so we're going to be um, traveling in all sorts of different types of transportation, trains and buses and cars and some things that are maybe not so much a car. Um, so that should help keep me from throwing up. So this one has my bathing suit and this is called a Turkish towel. It's this really nice linen that's supposed to be used um, as a towel and as a head wrap and you can take it on like the plane with me if it gets cold. I can use it as a blanket, so it has lots of uses, which is cool. This giant thing is what's going to have most of my clothes for the year. It's double-sided. I just haven't figured out how to use the double-sided super well yet. Um, so on this side, I have stuff that's folded like shirts and a skirt and a pair of pants. And then on this side, I've got more shirts. There's some dresses in here, I think. This is a headband, t-shirt. Um, what is that? It's a long sleeve t-shirt. So just cram as much clothing into these as you can, because you know, you're know you gonna have only a backpack's worth of space. So you wanna be really economical with how you pack these. This is my last one. Again, by no means is this all of it has to go into this bag. So I'm sure half of this will get cut before I even leave. Um, but this has like, sort of, stationary kinds of things. So there's like pens and markers and um, an iPod charger, pencils, note cards, my Bible, my favorite book, Little Women, a Spanish to English dictionary that won't come into handy until month five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> um, I won't be in Spanish speaking countries until the second half of my trip. So just lots of little things. I have my passport in here and my yellow fever card and then um, like a calendar to help write down stuff as I go and then a travel document. And this is my one of my favorite things that I've purchased so far. It is a leather bound journal, um, which I'm hoping is going to last for the entire race. It's got um, all these books of beautiful paper in it. And the cool thing about this is it's actually refillable. So I'll be able to, let me see where, where it ties in. Um, if I run out of paper, well, the idea is that you can tie more, here it is, you can tie more paper into the journal. 
and so you just take out the old, you untie it and take out the, the used up paper and then put new paper in there and tie it in. And then this leather case will help, um, or the leather cover will help protect it from the elements and running around in my backpack and that sort of thing. So that's all the stuff in my pack so far. So this is my day pack. I had a bigger one um, that I'm actually going to try to take back to REI. Um, it was about 30 liters, and they recommend that you take one that's closer to 20. So this one's much smaller. This is what, like, my um, MacBook will write in here, and everything that's sort of valuable to me I'll keep on me on travel days and for most of the time when we're in our countries, um, just to make sure that everything stays really safe. And so this has lots of great compartments to store things, um, and is much smaller, and so they just didn't want you lugging around 30 30 liters of excuse me 30 liters of stuff all the time so hopefully that will be better um things that I'm forgetting I'm taking um a Kindle e-reader the camera that I'm recording on my cell phone a GoPro my MacBook I think that's everything Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have questions, you can comment and um, subscribe to these videos so you can make sure that you get them every time I post. Um, I'm trying to get the hang of doing videos, so hopefully there will be more um, as we get closer to um, our launch date and certainly more after I leave. So thank you so much for supporting me. I love you guys. Bye.